Hey, welcome back campers. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is you're viewing this. Hey, we're in Nature Week. We're gonna be exploring nature using Geometry 2.6 and look at all the different shapes in geometry. You know, it's a concept that as you guys become like these great mathematicians and go on to solve world problems and become engineers and, and builders and architects. It's gonna be important that you you look at nature, you see so much creativity when it comes to geometry and math and shapes, because basically we get the concept of mathematics from looking at the shapes that exist in nature. I mean, if you ever look at the center of a flower and you see the repeated pattern, it's important that you actually look and say, well, how, why are those shapes so perfectly, redundantly the same? Because then when man uh, looks at designing stuff, they look at the perfect shapes that we find in nature. For example, a circle, we look at the moon and the sun, those shapes look perfect uh, from our perspective. So when we look at geometry, we wanna look at different types of shapes. And the shape we're gonna focus in on today is circle. And what are the parts of a circle? And one thing you gotta learn about a circle is that a circle, no matter from what perspective, all points that run across will be equal. They will be the same. On a perfect circle, all points of a circle are the same distance apart. So from here to here or here to here, it's going to be the same distance in a perfect circle. So it's important that you understand that because when you think about a circle, a, a chord, another term, a chord connects two points of a circle. An example of a, a, a point, a chord that will connect is a diameter. So from one end of a circle on the outside, to the other outside, a diameter runs all the way across and it's a chord that con connects this side of a circle to that side, that's the diameter. What's different here though, what's different from the diameter is the radius. The radius is just from one edge to the center of the circle. So it connects from the center spot, of, center point of a circle to outside is called the radius. So it's important that you're familiar with this vocabulary and these particular types of terms because when we get into solving problems regarding area, of a circle, these terms come into play, radius and diameter. Another term that comes into place, play is pi. And what does pi represent? We represent pi with this symbol. It looks kind of funny, but this symbol right here, because it's a Greek letter in the Greek alphabet, pi, but it represents this number 3.14, which is actually a repeater It goes on, and we cut it off and we round it to the hundredth. This is the ones place value, decimal point, tenths, and hundredths. But pi represents the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter. So all the way around the outside to this all the way across is a perfect number pattern that's been solved to say, no matter what the circle is, 3.14 is applicable to helping you solve if you were solving for the, for the uh, area of a circle. Uh, 3.14 has been found to be perfectly applied whenever you want to solve for it. So these terms are important. So we're gonna cover that all points of a circle have the same distance no matter where you measure from in a perfect circle and a chord connects two points on a circle. So from here to there will be a chord, or here to there, that's a chord that goes all the way across if it connects both sides. And then radius is just from the center point out. These terms are important as we begin to explore geometry and work in the area of circles. So I'm Mr. McDaniel, look forward to seeing you. We're gonna dive into this in standard W22, W22 on the Geometry 2.6. So look up W22 when you want to practice this skill. See you in class. Remember to believe in yourself and see you on the other side. Bye.